I am Feed Masha Shamba coming your way today, Sunday 14th, July 2024. I want to thank every CEO who subscribe to UAG grant across the 36 states of the country. First, let me thank the country director of UAG, the only valid and authentic choosing Moses of our time, Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama, who is saddled with the responsibility by the Nigeria Constitution and by right to disburse UAG grant to the Golibo and all the down through the Nigerians. I'm here to lend my voice on behalf of the millions Niger Deltans across all the Niger Delta belt. I want to say that it is no longer a news that the only ground that is valid and authentic to be disbursed at this point in time is UAG grant. Please don't be deceived. Nigeria is no more a banana republic. The only valid grant to be disbursed is UAAG grant. That is one. Number two, I want all Nigerians to be aware that the only man saddled with the responsibility by right to disburse this UAG grant is Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Then there is two. Number three, I want us to also be aware that Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama is not the cause of the delay of this grant because he need the money just as well as you and I. I want you to have that in your mind, have that consciousness. He is never the one that have delayed this grant up to now. In fact, if Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama have access to this fund today, Sunday as I'm talking to you, July 14th, in the next 24 hours, everybody will be smiling because he need the money more than you and I. That is number three. Then number four, I want to say categorically clear that at this point in time, we don't need voice notes. We don't need updates. We don't need write-up. All we need now is disbursement. It has come to the notice of the Niger Deltans that the causes of this delay are caused by some factions of uh, people who claim to be elite or supervising these are uh, disbursement and i want to say that the nigerian deltans we are going to deploy everything possible within this week to resist whatever that have been delaying this grant this very week we just enter now today is sunday 14 july whatever it takes for the niger deltans in conjunction with the Niger Data Strike Force, headed by Agbalawan, whoever is involved that want to resist Apostle Ken, that want to dash his name to the mud, that want to render his effort useless, any forces whether physically or whatever, from any organization resisting this disbursement, holding the hands of our leader, the only choosing leader, Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama, we are going to bring them down. Anything it takes, whatever it takes us to do it, we are going to do it. We are tired of stories. This week, we just entered now. We are going to know all the names of the people who are members of the committee heading this disbursement. I I am surprised and uh, it is really laughable that they are using almost a whole year 
to process disbursement, to follow due process. I remember when a particular amount of money was budgeted to buy fleet of jeeps worth 160 million each for each senator in this country. It did not take them one week. A committee was also set. It did not take them one week. Calculate 160 million times 309 senator. It did not take this committee one week to get this money disbursed to them and those cars, sorry, those fleet of Jews, I beg your pardon, was afforded, was ordered for to all the 109 senators. It has now come to the gullibles, the helpless, the less privileged, and the downtrodden Nigerian. It is becoming one year. The Niger Delta Strike Force and across all the Niger Delta belt, we are going to resist every force that is going to hold this disbursement this week. Whatever it takes, we are going to use the last drop of our blood to resist it. We are tired of suffering. We enter into grant community because we are hungry. If we have enough to ourselves, we wouldn't have been bothering ourselves. I feed my shamba that is talking to you. I am hungry. I am hungry. I can't deceive myself. Everyone of us in this grand ecosystem are going through one problem or the other. Any organization, any committee, any group of persons saddled with the responsibility to facilitate this disbursement and they are saying no, we are going to resist them. Whatever it takes us, the Niger Deltans across the Niger Delta state should get ready. This very week, it is not going to be diplomatic. Although our vision is to be diplomatically and ethetically with the aim of gaining all genuine justification. But at this point in time, I think we don't need to deploy dialogue. We are going to deploy dialogue. Please, whatever it takes, the Niger Delta Strike Force in conjunction with all the Niger Delta Beds, we are ready to resist any force. Whoever or whatever that is going to hold up to Kenwakama not to disburse this ground this week. We are going to fight that group of people with the last drop of our blood. I came to notify the public on this. Anyhow it takes, whatever it takes for this grant to be disbursed this week, I want the relevant authority to do it. I lent this voice note on behalf of the Niger Delta Strike Force and all the Niger Delta Bet. All of you should get ready. We are going to dance, Atilogu dance for them. Thank you all. I thank all the stakeholders and I want all of them to know that we have the backing of all the Niger Delta leaders now as I'm talking to you. All the machinery that need to be deployed will be deployed to ensure technically, legally or whatever, will be deployed to ensure that Nigerians get this UAG grant. This very week we are entering. No more postponements. Thank you. I remember Fidmasha Shambak. Happy Sunday to you all.